Welcome back now. We're still talking about Qatar 2022 World Cup. Seven days to go. And uh, I hope my colleague Tony Bani, when he gets to Qatar, will come back in one piece. And one other Nigerian journalist that will definitely be there is the veteran himself. KS, we call him, Kunle Solaja. He has been to virtually all the World Cups. Uh, the last, uh, in the last, uh, how many decades now? And KS is warming up. In fact, he will be leaving in a couple of days' time now. Let him share his thoughts with us via Zoom uh, before he leaves for Qatar. Let's start now by the welcoming uh, Zoo, uh, uh, the veteran himself, Kunle Solaja. Hello, Kunle. How are you doing today? It's a pleasure joining you. Walk up without Nigeria. What are the implications? There is really, uh, looking at his sports-wise, not a big deal in the sense that we've had bigger teams not qualifying for the World Cup before. In fact, we've, we have had uh, uh, past champions not even qualify. You recall that uh, in our first qualification in 1994, France mm -hmm. was a Glaring absentee. England, too, did not qualify. These are two big football nations, two big World Cup brands that every year, every edition, the world would like those two teams to be there. They didn't qualify. France, uh, if you also look at uh, Russia 2018, Italy, multiple winners in the past, they were absent. So it's really not a big deal, but as a Nigerian, one feel pain. Pain in the sense that our life seems to be revolving around football. Cares, what are the possible lessons that Nigeria can learn from not being in Qatar? There are many lessons to be learned. It's not just the World Cup, but whether we like it or not, our football level, our football standard is going down. When last has a Nigerian club got into the group stage of the uh, lead? club competition in Africa, the Cup of Champions. In the next uh, couple of months now, we'll be in 2023, mm -hmm. it will be the first, I mean, it will be the 20th anniversary of Nigeria's first win of the uh, Champions Cup. And then we won the second time and then no show. The, champion, uh, the Confederation Cup has been very, very elusive to Nigerian teams, where we only hope that maybe Rivers United will be able to do something. Okay, before we let you go, what do you think are the chances of the African representative? With Nigeria not there, we are ordinarily supposed to be Africa's flag, number one flag bearers. But we are not there. Ghana, Cameroon, Senegal. What are the chances of the African flag bearers? I sincerely pray that what happened in 2018 will not repeat itself. For the first time in 2018, no African team was able to move beyond the group stage as all of them crumbled. It has never happened since 1986 World Cup. I hope this time around, every, all of us are looking forward to see Senegal, especially, being the, mm -hmm. uh, the most prepared or the, the, the strongest African team going to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping uh, Senegal will be able to perform. But the recent injury inflicted on uh, Sadio Mane is really that we give some, uh, some of us a little concern. But we only hope that his presence in the team, because his name in the 23 man squad, we hope that his presence in the, in the team will be able to activate and uh, motivate the rest of the players to do very well, just like they did 20 years ago when they first qualified for the World Cup and they became the first African team to get to the quarterfinal of the World Cup at their first attempt.